Hey guys, welcome to our cool down series video five. Uh, today is possibly one of my favorite ones. This is not only a great cool down sequence, it is also a really, really good warm up sequence that you can do to mobilize your body before a workout. But again, it's really good to help your body recover after a workout. So we're gonna be starting off, we're gonna need the rig, we're gonna need a kettlebell, and that's it, and some time. So again, every stretch that we're doing today is 45 seconds up to two minutes, depending on how much time you have. When it comes to the rig stretch, it's a really good lat stretch. So what we want to do is we're going to, if I'm going to hold and stretch my right side, I want my right foot behind my left foot, okay? So I get to the rig, get my hand here, and then what I do is I lean over and I grab the rig here, and then I just push my weight this way. And what I can do with this hand then is I can push and lever myself into a deeper, deeper stretch to allow for that nice, nice lat stretch. Okay, so again, you can twist in. Try not to be behind your arm. You want your head either underneath your arm or right in front. And again, as I say, you can stretch and use gravity and then aid it by pushing yourself out for a really good, literally, oblique, lat shoulder stretch get you nice and loose for finishing off your workouts and like i say it's really good at the start of workout the second stretch very simple is the lat stretch i'm uh, sorry the chest stretch so what we're going to do instead of having our elbow directly over our shoulder uh, in line with our shoulder we're going to actually bring it slightly higher because we want to get that angle coming down into the flow of how the chest works and then what i do is i kind of get into myself into a lunge position and I literally just push forwards. And I just allow that natural, gentle stretch of the shoulder joint into the chest. And if I want to make it a little bit tighter, I just start twisting my torso a little bit for five seconds, come back to center, twist my torso. And again, I'm getting a nice, nice, deep stretch into the chest. Really relaxing, helps the shoulder joint heal. Uh, and sit back where it wants to be because our chest tend to want to pull us forward So when we loosen them out the shoulders will sit back where they're really meant to go Then we have the straddle which is literally we're just going as wide as we can We can use our kettlebell or we can use our foam roller go as wide as we can once we feel the stretch all we do is we come down to the floor or we put our hands over our elbows and just come down and just allow for a really, really good inner groin stretch. And that's all it is. Hands over the elbows, drop down, and just hold that. It's actually quite nice, comfortable stretch uh, for, again, 45 seconds, up to two minutes. Then the last stretch we're gonna do is more mobility, uh, where we're gonna do what's called the fragging, but we're gonna use the kettlebell. So we're gonna come down, okay? And what we do is we come up onto one knee, and then we take the other foot and we turn it out to the side like this. So we're in this position and what we're looking to do is open up this hip and this hip and get nice good mobility in there. So what we use the kettlebell for is we pick up the kettlebell and then we take a big breath and then we just exhale and lean in and the kettlebell will add a little bit extra weight which will add a little bit extra into the stretch. Now it's important that you keep the hip open so get it as straight as possible. Squeeze your glutes, big breath, and then just lean in for about five seconds. Feel that nice good stretch. Come back out, take a breath. Lean in, exhale. And again, you gotta do that for like say five rounds uh, of five breaths, or you can just hold for a minute and just keep moving back in, going five seconds at a time. Guys, that is, uh, the cool down series video five again you can mix and match all the different stretches depending on what you're doing on the day and we'll be adding more to this as we go if you have any feedback for any of us myself or any of the coaches please let us know and if you have or need any more stretching tricks or mobility drills let us know and we'll be happy to help you just talk to us in class see you in the next one